hello friends so let's welcome to all of you so today will we will be start uh, this video edi sections outline so if, uh, regarding the edi I, I just came here and take this video regarding the edi and you will be understanding more exposure regarding the what is edi and what are the aspects of the edi which generally will help you out in the interview or whatever the industry you are just working on related to the edi and segments and all this terminology that will be you will be understood regarding all these things so let's welcome to all of you and so i will discuss in this video what is edi and what we need to do regarding the edi and and what do we use or for EDI for and what are the advantages for that and what are the disadvantages for this so let's move forward uh, with this so what is EDI <clears throat> if we talk about the EDI the EDI is the electronic data interchange which is a standardized format that created in the 1960 in which a place that data uh, can be like exchange between the two companies from one business to another business by the software applications and their business processes so there are two types of basic standard models that are followed by for consisting on constructing like EDI documents. The fun, first one is the American National Standard Institute, which is called NCX12. That is the one structure. And second is the electronic data interchange for administration, commerce, and transport, which is called EDI FACT. These are the two formats which generally are uh, using, and most of the industry are working on this these two formats so if we talk about the what is an EDI document so if how you can just uh, identify what is the EDI document how you can just get to know that some exposure regarding the EDI information an EDI document is a plan text mm, file which is generally represented in the st standard transaction set like uh, if you will talk about like 834 transaction set 850 850 purchase order 8, 8, 855 purchase order acknowledgement most of the uh, transactions that are generally using the industry and like as 204 and 3050 bill of lading all the multiple information can be included by their form of segment and this is the called number format this is that is called edi document we will be seeing this uh latest uh, like files and uh, so next slide is what is the EDI transaction sites if we talk about someone will ask you in the, inter in the interview if you are just preparing for an interview or just working on any industry suppose you are just uh, as a fresh and just getting the training for just want to get like suppose regarding the transaction site then you can be easily understand this video that I will be talking about the EDI transaction site the transaction site is a format mm, or EDI document that can be gets the information and with the uh, elements and with the segment as well like where we can sh know how it should look like the set of where uh, developed by nc actually asc aggregated standard committee x12 based on that industry seems to be neat the new version of the transaction set are frequently released y2k as of one by 1994 there were 187 transaction sites and in the 1990s five uh, there were around 250 transaction sites are present so totally we, we talk about there are multiple around like uh 275 transaction sites are available in the industry most of the company or industry are using that format so if we talk about the layout of the transaction set of edi transmission how we can just transmit the data and in the transaction set how we can looks like the information how they can just define that format so you will be seeing in this screen so if we talk about isa uh, this is the communication portal and isa information from isa interchain header is called interchain header and gs segment this is called the group header and sc segment this is called the uh, transaction sets header okay so these are the headers started from here and uh and and this will be ending like as a for st like transaction header that will be going to end as a transaction trailer and for gs is starting as a group header then it will be going to end as a ge group trailer and if isa has been started like as a isa interchange header and it will be going to end as a iea interchange trailer and these are the group communication protocols which we can define the format under this information st to se we can see the multiple information which is group is standing that those information which they required okay like whatever the n1 information st ref dtm 
or PO, whatever the information this is required in the purchase order or whatever the acknowledgement file or AESN file or invoice file, they are just working on it that you can see all the information between the ST to SD segment. Okay, so if we talk about next slide, uh, so these are the like uh, functional group we can see. Uh, ISA, ST, and GS. So you can see information and transaction structure. So this is the transaction structure uh, from ST to ST. I've just already told you about that. These are the header segment, detail segment, and summary segment. You can see the information uh, under this ST and SV between this. So this is the sample bill of lading transaction. Like so, uh, you can see that ST. Uh, you can read the document like ST star zero one. ST star 02 and ST uh, so on. So, okay, so ST this is the uh, transaction set document, this is 204 document, and we can see the information like ST 01, 02, and if we talk about the B2, and uh, between the two, uh, like asterisk sign, we can see uh, the in, in the like value or rich whatever they are using okay so all this information like in the annual segment we can see the bill of the city what is the city information what is the address they just required and so on so okay so these are the like looks like the format of the edi you can read about that document whatever this you can you are just working on you can see and you can just get that exposure regarding this so let's uh, move on so everyone is like this is a segment you know as, as you know everyone like uh for the isa segment st segment b2 segment n1 n2 and g6 se so the, all these are the information which is included by the segment and those segments which is included in a group that is called the composite element suppose if you are just giving an interview or someone an interviewer, interviewer, interviewer will ask you to like what is the composite element then you can just uh give an uh, exam like example like as a as an answer that those are the elements which is contain more than two elements or like just uh, gathering as information in a group that is called the composite element okay so if like let's move on uh, standard data types so these are the data types like we can see an alphanumeric and r real for uh, that is contain the information from 0 to 9 and numeric id and sex identifier dt format that is called for the date time okay and uh, uh, is the, this is the version of the edi 4010 and most of the version recently version this is working on the 5010 uh, and time for hh uh, um, mm in military like 24 hours clock for the time format which is available so what do you need uh, for just you are just uh, just getting the information just you want to work on EDA technology a computer should be there and a data source then and, and transaction sets and translation mapping or software that is generally most of the important thing that is the mapping software which you require communication software communication hardware modems and uh, optionally an EDI van which is evaluated network that is generally used for the protocols which you are just working on just if you are sending any file via the internet or via the HTTP so you need to just require this of like so van or whatever the AS2 whatever those like protocols you are just working to sending and secure file by from one company sender to receiver and unique identifier trading partner TPA and TV 838 so most of the thing like this is the example uh, in this slide, you will understand example of EDA scenario, how we can just segregate, how we can just define and sending the data through over on the internet and from one company to another company. So first is the sender machine. Uh, you can see here the sender machine and uh, this is going to EDA document from via the WAN, value added network and this WAN is generating, sending the EDA document to client machine and from one X layer to data to row data into DB. And like so we can see also that DB is the raw data and we are just converting this raw data into multiple multiple split that is called x -lit, x later and this is going to be converting the EDI document so these are the two we can see and acknowledge acknowledging a transition like suppose a sender in uh, suppose a sender has sent any document then uh, by to the client and then client will get that document and he just want to acknowledge with the nd7 document then he will be reversing back to uh, that uh, information via the van or uh, as2 if he is working on uh, for mmd and message disposition notification that will be uh, give him to the sender as a response of the acknowledgement that edi document has been transmitted to the receiver and successfully so these are the process in the, in, which is called like acknowledgement for the edi whatever the transaction you are doing 
what you know so what do we use for edi uh, creating hardware independent standard for the exchanging information and second one is the elim eliminate paper transaction like it's really helpful eliminate the re-entry of data and the speed of business transaction so well, that's why the multiple company are using the state subset of asc x12 uh, so for paper industry and chemical industry warehouse industry transportation industry and retail industry and cost industry so multiple and you know, rest of the industry also using uh the nc external structure because this is generally famous and most of the uh industry are working because this will be reducing the paperwork and will be efficient to work and reliable on the internet and so some of the transactions that you can see on my screen and this 100 100 fun, insurance plan in description blame and discipline and uh, address list and uh, if you talk about multiple transactions that you can see and you can get the information if you want to just uh, note it down you can note it and if you will be working like you can just get multiple transactions that are available in this industry and so i will just show you only some of the transactions which is you know, like generally available on the internet and you can also get exposure if you're just working in an industry and if you want to you know, just working on any whatever the transactions that you can see okay so if we talk about the advances this is the most more last final part and what is the advances the interviewer can be asked to you this question so in a proven method like for exchanging information uh we generally uh use to efficient way for and there are the standard in place of most popular business transactions and saved money for and time over the paper transaction so that is the final and most important advantage for that so multiple companies are using the idea things and so it would be like very helpful and sending the data over on the internet level by the secured and no any with the encryption as well uh, with the disadvantages it's very costly and middle uh, middle like in technology vans using and no human readable standard are broken even within the document which defines them and no flexibility for them for different companies in the same vertical markets and virgin exchange are not easily handled so these are the things so thank you so much guys if you like my video please like and subscribe this channel thank you